What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and welcome to part four of my Grand Challenge run with Greninja. Now, after this, I think I got to the point where I wanted to be. I was trying to get into top 512, and so this might be the final part. I don't know, if I drop below 512 on the last day, there will be a part five. Uh, but basically, the idea behind this team, Greninja Water Shuriken stuff, Stamina on Archaladon, the, the uh, Rage Fist on Annihilate, while Grimmsnarl can set screens and Sinistra can heal. And then Pelipper nuke stuff, which is a little unexpected. That's a little bit of my uh, best of one tech there. But anyways, let's jump into these battles. 1688. Let's go. Dozo Giri, King Gambit Annihilate. Don't click Icy Wind. Uh, Dragonite Glamora. I need Greninja for Haze. Archaludon does well, unless it's Final Gambit 8. Uh, Annihilate of my own is also fine. Do I prefer Archaludon or Annihilate? The real question is whether I want to bring Pelipper, I guess. Uh, I think Grim, Ape, Sinistra, Greninja might be the play here. I, I like these four against those six. There's not much I would rather do. I would like a second Mon that can hit King Gambit, because unless it Terra's, all I have is Drain Punch. But slotting in Pelipper is hard. I guess I could drop Grim entirely not have screens at all. Yeah. I don't love that. I do think I expect to see Glamora. A lot of my team doesn't appreciate being poisoned. I expect to see... I do expect Don Dozo. <laughs> oh, cool. Those two have that rivalry. They seem pretty chill right now, though. Annihilate King Gambit. Coaching? Scarf Gambit coaching? Reflect Bulk Up? You coach up, I bulk up. We match up. Yeah, I think that's the play. Here's my Reflect. Here's your Coaching. You smartly didn't go for Terra, knowing I'm not clicking Drain Punch yet. Iron Head by Grim, which lives. Okay. Bring in Greninja. And what, go for Drain Punch on the King Gambit now? I want Greninja in because it can potentially haze. Get rid of King Gambit's boosts. And if they hit my Annihilate, then Annihilate gets Rage Fist boost. Uh, protect for another coaching. Cool. I went for Drain Punch. Should be no surprise. Now you, Terra. You're coaching again, I haze. And then I bulk up after the haze. Yep, there's your Terra. Want to see what it is. You have Protect, so you probably just have Iron Head, Cow Cow, Sucker Punch. Your Terra flying. Probably don't have room for Terra Blast on that set. <laughs> Another coasting crazy. Goodbye. Sorry about all your boosts. 
I ate them. And now I want. Uh, now my plan is to water shuriken myself and start rage fisting things. Look how stuck leaving the Greninja. That's yeah, whatever. Behind reflect, you have no boosts. Whatever. But side water shuriken and rage fist. You're King Gambit. Why not? Yep, they're just gonna sit in and do another coaching. But I think with all these boosts, them at plus one defense, who cares? I'm also at plus one attack. This plus five hits? Yeah, I think I get the KO. It'll be close, though. Depends on how bulky their King Gambit is. I can't imagine it had a ton of bulk if you're coaching it. He's not on the physical side. Living on one. On a wish and a prayer. Alright. Water Shuriken the King Gambit and free Rage Fist into Annihilate. Yeah. That seems good to me. And, like, sure, you probably protect your King Gambit, but then you're still pinned with Water Shuriken next turn unless you bring in Dragonite to Extreme Speed. And you've also seen me my haze. So if you have Dozo in the back, you're aware that I have haze. I was more worried about a oh King Gambit swap into Dozo. You wouldn't swap in Yuri here. Apparently you wouldn't swap in Yuri here. Okay. Because then what? You get a coaching onto your on Dozo. I take out your Annihilate. And now your options are bring in Tatsugiri or bring in King Gambit. If you even brought Tatsugiri. If you bring in King Gambit, he's pinned by my drain punch. If you bring in Tatsugiri, I can go straight for Haze. You bring in King Gambit, I can go for Haze to cover for the swap. You, I think this is bait. I think this is... I do think this is bait. If I go for Haze and Drain Punch into King Gambit, if Dondozo can knock out my Greninja, I could be in trouble. So actually, I want to get Greninja out of here into Sinistra. Drain Punch King Gambit. Yeah, I think this is fine. Heal up my Annihilate a little bit. I think it's bait. I don't think they go to Tatsugiri. Yeah, they didn't swap to Tatsugiri. Okay. I think they're baiting me into attacking King Gambit so they can take out the Greninja. They may even protect King Gambit here. They don't protect King Gambit here. That's fine. Maybe they were doubling into the Greninja slot? It wasn't Sucker Punch though. Oh, it wouldn't be Sucker Punch if you're calling Haze. And then Wave Crash. Yeah, aiming at the Greninja. That makes sense. Now the question is, how do I get Greninja in safe? Do I even need to? Do I just set Trick Room? and start rage fisting this thing. But they also have an extra attack boost. They're pretty scary. At least that Tatsugiri can't boost their speed. How's this reflect going? Because if Greninja can swap in on an earthquake, maybe we're fine. Uh, I think I just want to go for Macha Gacha Protect first. Uh, 
think it might be Earthquake. Heavy Slam. Sinistra takes a lot from that. But at least we get our Macha Gacha. If we get a burn, I say we're good. Oh, that's good damage, too. Even without a burn. Oh, and we get the burn. Let's go. Cancels out their leftovers, and with one more turn of Reflect, I think it was, we can get in safely with Greninja. Yeah. We'll just Rage Powder. Bring Greninja in. Battle's just cancelled. Yeah, they know they can't win with that burn. GG. Cool trainer card. 1607's not bad. Ooh, Rockanine. I love Rockanine. They've also got Indeedy Male, Sneasler. That's probably the combo. Talonflame, Primarina, Archaladon. Probably Power Herb, Sturdy, Archaladon. Maybe Power Herb, Stalwart. No redirection to speak of, so Greninja can go straight at them. Probably with Arch, I think would be smarter. Sneasler is a little annoying, but we've got Sinistra. Eh, Sneasler's not that annoying. If we get the defense boost, Sneasler doesn't do too much since we're immune to poison. The problem is them getting damage and then having close combat still. So. Uh, Primarina a little annoying too, but we have Sinistra. The question is Grim, Pelipper. I don't think I want Annihilate. I think I do want Pelipper. I could even pull the Terra Ground Terra Blast into their arch, which I think would be funny. And Weather Ball just hits most of their team really hard. And having access to Electro Shot will be nice. I don't know if I need it necessarily. Body Press does do a ton. Um, let's see, ways they could stop my Water Shuriken. They have Brave Bird E Speed, which if they're max speed Talonflame, their Talonflame's Priority Brave Bird goes before Water Shuriken. That's a trainer card. That's just you and a Talon, though. Could be better. Alright. Talonflame and their own Archelina. Okay. I think I would side Water Shuriken. And just body press their Archelina. Because I'm more worried about their special attackers, and Archeludon is one of them. Sidewater Shuriken. I don't think there's any need to Terra and Body Press. Uh, the worst thing that could happen is like Choice Band Terra Flying Brave Bird, but the second worst thing was Will O Wisp, and I didn't see a Will O Wisp. Cool. Indeedy for some reason. Okay, they got Talonflame out of there to Indeedy. I think they were worried about Water Shuriken into their Talonflame. Maybe they're not max speed, maybe they don't know my speed. Maybe they just didn't want to get hit at all. They wanted to save Talonflame for later. So this is cool. This also means your Talonflame can't use its priority moves while it's at full health because you just put Psychic Terrain up. So if it comes back, I don't have to worry about Brave Bird. And I can still Water Shuriken your Talonflame because it's in the air. And other things you talk about while you're getting defense boosts. Got all five. Thank you, Greninja. Um, thank you, Greninja. <laughs> Bye, Greninja. It's nice knowing you. My next problem is expanding force is actually pretty annoying for the mons I have for me. Fortunately, they seem to be faster, so maybe I can get Trick Room off. And Arch is sturdy. Okay. I could Pelipper Terra Ground Trick. I'm worried they just click Expanding Force and take it out, though. But maybe I should bait them into trying that. Can also just redirect moves with Sinistra. Yeah. Sinistra just redirecting moves might be smarter here. 
Get a little bit of healing on Arch. Didn't really need it. Because the things I'd be worried about are like fighting Terra Blast from Indeedee, which Rage Powder would cover, or Dragon Pulse into my Archaladon. Maybe Aura Spear if they have it onto my Archaladon. Wouldn't like to see that. I'm going to send Body Press into Indeedee. I'm slightly worried Archaladon might protect. I don't think Indeedee would here. I do think Expanding Force and a plus one Dragon move takes out my Sinister though. Maybe I should have been more careful about that. Well, how much more careful could I have been? Just let Arch take it? Oh, it's Imprisoned! Thank you! That's perfect! And Draco Meteor at plus one? Sinister, you need this! Yeah! Sinister's got this! And now your arch is at minus one? I don't even care. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just take out the rest of your team now. Bodhi Press. One HP and D. Um, now you click Expanding Force and what, Draco my arch? Whatever. Do I swap in Pelipper? No. Do I Rage Powder just in case they pull out the Fighting Terra Blast now? Yeah. Because it's just going to be Expanding Force, sure, but... Oh, they turned off their game. I think they didn't have a way to beat Archaladon anymore. GG. 1574. Volcarona, Clefable, Dragonite, Como O, Blood Moon Ursaluna, and Sneasler. Clefable is one of the counters to this team, unfortunately. We're gonna have to go Greninja and taunt it. They're gonna want to set up, which is also a great reason to bring Greninja with Haze. Unfortunately, if they set up with Como O, they'll be faster than Greninja. I do think Greninja and Annihilate work well. I think they might not do Como O just because I have Grim. Uh, Sinistra, Grim in the back? Grim on lead is too passive. They're gonna set up on me. But I don't hate Light Screen. I could also try setting up on them with Archaludon. I really need to get Rage Fist going to do anything to that team. I guess my fourth could be Pelipper just for straight damage instead of Grim. How do I handle? I think maybe it is Grim. Grim specifically because I'm worried about Como O and just their special attackers in general. Uh, I was thrown off because, like, it says I have done 17. Oh, Hoi Coco. I love it. It says I've done 17, but my notes say I've done 18. I think one of the disconnects by my opponents didn't count as a battle. It's exactly the lead I expected. Now, if only I could actually do something about it. All right. Let's taunt the Como O. Let's taunt... Yeah, I'm gonna try to taunt Como. Oh, they're not gonna let me. And just bulk up the Annihilate. Yeah, they're gonna follow me. And I'll get a taunt into the Fable. And they've already moved, which is good. They're gonna Clangor his soul. They're probably gonna go to plus two. Yeah, they have Throat Spray. Okay. And I get a bulk up off. I doubt they Oko Annihilate at plus two. Maybe they do. Yeah, Clefable's taunted for three whole more turns. So, turn one, swap into Grim. Turn two, try to Rage Fist, they protect. Turn three, try to Rage Fist, they can't protect. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, but I need to water shuriken myself right now. No, I don't. Yeah, I do. I need to side water shuriken. And I'm gonna tear a water rage fist. I don't want to take too much damage from like a moon blast. Maybe I lose Greninja here, but Eight should be able to take this. I would think Eight can take this. I believe in Annihilate. I'm really worried though. Maybe I shouldn't believe in Annihilate so much. One, two, three, four. I probably only need four. Thank you, Greninja. You are very reliable. You always get the number I need. Clanging scales. Does a ton to annihilate. Wow. Their defense is dropped though, so we should take them out in return. And then I don't. And it depends on what Clefable has. If it had Icy Wind, it would have swapped. It must have Moonblast. Does that take us out? Maybe not. We hang on with 5 HP. Incredible. Sinistra for sure. Protect Life Dew, get back up to half. If necessary. Might not be. If it's single targets we can Rage Powder away, then, like, what's the point? Dragonite. Can't Rage Powder Extreme Speed. They're probably faster than us. They haven't used Terra yet. They could be, like, Flying Terra Terra Blast. Let's Life Dew. And Protect Annihilate here. They probably read the Protect on Annihilate, I would guess. We do have plus one defense. Um, I guess it depends on the Dragonite set. If it's Flying Terra Terra Blast and they can knock out Sinister with it, we're in a bit of trouble. But they're not Terrasalizing. <laughs> Scale Shot. That doesn't take out Sinister at all. Cool. Uh, got a crit. All right. But with Citrus Berry and Life Dew, we'll be mostly back for full. And then we'll get Moon Blasted probably on Annihilate, I would guess. Oh, they get all five hits. Great. They dropped their defense. And let's Life Dew it up. I wonder what their Terra on Dragonite is. Last turn of Clefable's Taunt. Probably go for Rage Powder. Rage Fist the Clefable, I think. Dragonite could be trying to be sneaky and pull Terra Normal the next turn. Or something silly like that. With all the hits I've taken, I might be able to take out the Fable. Uh, enough scale shots probably takes out Sinister though. One, two, yeah, I think it takes out Sinister. So hopefully, we can actually take out the Fable. But if not, we do have the ability to set Reflect. We do have Spirit Break on the table. Dragonite's doing a lot of damage. How much does this Rage Fist do? We just take it out. Beautiful. Annihilate doesn't have to take any damage then. And Grim Time. Who do you got? Who do you got? Who do you got? Sneasler! Don't love seeing Sneasler! So what, I click Reflect? Rage Fist into Dragonite. I don't think they're Terra Normal. They double into a not- okay, they Fake Out. That's a good play. Fake Out plus Scale Shot. Fake Out- Fake Out plus Extreme Speed I don't get. Well, that's your only move that can hit Grim is Extreme Speed, but why not hit the 8? Because no, you don't have a Dragonite.
and now I can definitely get Reflect and Rage Fist your Sneasling. Do you, what do you have, Terra Normal? That would be funny. Terra Stellar, just for damage, okay. Got me in Dire Claw range, and then if you can KO Ape right here, then you can KO my Grim next turn, maybe. That's a good play. But I'm at plus one defense. Yeah, plus one defense and the Reflect, that's too much for you to handle. And then you can't hit us both, and so we'll take you out next turn if you're Sash. Whew, it was pretty close, but we got it. Yep, Sneasler at 1 HP, unless you have Rock Slide. You're not going to be able to take this, and you already revealed Fake Out, so I doubt you also have Rock Slide. Spirit Break, Rage Fist. Yeah, you probably take out Ape, right? No, you take out Grim. That's a good play. You take out the Grim, hoping Ape tries to protect you. Which, not a great idea for me to protect here, but... And Rage Fist. Good job, Annihilate. Starting the game, finishing the game. That's how this team works. You put all your eggs into one basket, and if it works, it works. Good game to my opponent, though. They did play it well. And cool play, Coco. 1665. Ooh, someone higher than me. Nice. Watoros, Rillaboom, Dragonite, Archaludon, Pelipper, and Golden Go. My own Archaludon is what I'm feeling. I don't like screens because they have Raging Bull, possibly. I think I just go Arch Greninja, have Pelipper Sinistra, and hope that's enough to take out Goldango. Because I'll have Electro Shots for Goldango. I think they're probably a defensive one anyway. I'll also have Pelipper that can hit Goldango pretty hard. I guess it depends on how fast they are. I may have to terrastalize the Pelipper to avoid their Archaludon, but throwing Terra Ground Terra Blast here would be funny, so I like it. Pelipper is a little weak to their Rillaboom if I terrastalize. It's a little weak to most of their team if I terrastalize it, honestly. So maybe I don't unless I'm backed into a corner, or rather if I'm in a position where I can win by doing that. And, oh, beautiful trainer card. Galar Slowpoke. Shiny. And what are these? Your two special attackers. Against my stamina strat. Perfect. Exactly what I always wanted to see. I could. Icy Wind. I could go straight into my Pelipper, which probably goes down to Electro Shot. My best bet might be Body Press, Water Shuriken, honestly. Just do the thing. Alright, they didn't bring in Pelipper, so Electro Shot might not even be on the table. And no Terra from anything. I wonder if they want to just take out Greninja? They should at least be a little worried about Greninja. He is a Dark type and a special attacker. Um, I don't know if I need four or five here. I don't know if it matters. Four? Okay. Body press is going to do nothing. Thank you. We also know your arch is faster than your gold. And my arch is faster than your gold. Perfect! Oh, I love that. That means Pelipper is faster than their gold. Nasty but Make it rain! That did a lot. Wait, hold up. Is that Specs? I did not expect Specs on this team, but I think that's Specs damage. Um, I'll have to Greninja. Actually? Well, if they just made it rain, they're gonna be weaker this time. Let's go Body Press Dragonite and Icy Wind. Force a Terra out of Dragonite. Uh, if it's Terra flying, it's not gonna go down. Oh, it's Gold Terrastalizing. Into Steel. 
So it's a double up into Arch going for a stronger make it range. Which is about the same as last one, it didn't do much. I don't see Dragonite doing much either, even though it probably lives in Body Press. And that's multi-scale, okay. If it wasn't multi-scale, maybe it would be in Body Press range. Let's see how much Body Press does. Uh, yeah. I think if it wasn't multi-scale, it would have gone down there. Ooh, Haze! Good play. Now you're strong enough to take out my Greninja. Good play, good play. A Peladon is still alive, though. And my Pelipper should be faster than anything you got. We know it's faster than your Golden Villages. Yeah, so I'm gonna go Pelipper. We're going to Electro Shot your Dragonite if we're faster than it. And we have plus one defense, maybe you can't KO us anyway. The question is Terra Ground, Terra Blast, or Weather Ball? Don't want to commit Terra Ground just yet. Terra Ground could be bad, especially if I lose our Chaladon here and I'm locked into that. So I'm going to go Weather Ball. With a little bit of chip that I got, it should be fine. They go for Haze again. That's fine. I'm faster than your Golden Go. As long as this Weather Ball takes out. Like, you'd have to be super bulky to take this. Yeah, you're good. That even KOs like super bulky Golden Go. <laughs> and that's why we have Specs Pelipper. They probably didn't expect that KO there. But our Caledon was also faster, so we could have just doubled up into the gold. Hmm. We also could have had Wide Guard. I don't, I don't know if that was the play, but it was a cool play. They have their Dragonite faster. It's a really fast Dragonite, actually. It's faster than my max speed Pelipper. Very interesting. Um, it might be able to get there just with Adam at 252, though. And then Tauros. Okay. You already used Terra. I'm just going to use... Paragrass, Electro Shot, and bring in Sinistra to heal up our Chaladon. Yeah, it didn't matter. Pelipper was going to win against you. Sinistra was going to win against you, even if you got through our Chaladon. GG. 1567, that's pretty much a lot lower than me. Not great. Sneasler, Arcanine, Indeedy Male, Ursaluna, Whimsicott, Amoongus. Amoongus is their redirection. I don't love fighting Expanding Force and Redirection at the same time. Archaludon, they have Ursaluna, which is bad for it. Uh, I think I need screens. I think Light Screen plus Annihilate is pretty good. I think that plus Sinistra is fine. The problem is Indeedy. And a little bit of Moongus. Um, for a Moongus, I kind of want to lead Greninja with Taunt, honestly. But there's so many leads that could just blow up Greninja before it does anything. Um, maybe not. Maybe Greninja Arch is fine. No, I need screens. I need screens really bad. But they can also lead to get rid of screens. I'm doing screens 8, Sinistra. I really don't know the last one. There's a lot Weather Ball can KO. Archelodon is grass terra. Eh. Let's do Pelipper. Let's believe in the Pelipper. I think Archelodon without Electro Shot and without Water Shuriken doesn't do a whole lot here. Uh, I do have to worry about... Ooh, cool Groudon. That's a cool trainer card. I worry about Amoongus. I worry about... Oh, indeed he sees us. Okay. Okay. I'm not too worried about MDD Sneasler. Except that I have to tear on my 8. Don't love that. And Psychic Z. Well, you can't fake out, so I get a screen. And that screen is going to be Reflect plus Protect. I might be in trouble, honestly. 
If I can't get light screen, I'm probably in a lot of trouble. I mean, this could just this is just the expanding force dire claw, but there's a lot of things that could happen with dire claw to make this not work out. Probably Parablast, good call. Not enough though. All right, let's put up light screen and let's Terra and drain punch that Indeedee. Now it should be Expanding Force Dire Claw. Dire Claw goes first, single target Expanding Force really is gonna hurt. The Drain Punch will help a little bit and then I have Sinistra. Who should go for Trick Room or am I gonna get imprisoned? That's the question there. And also once you start hitting my Annihilate it gets a little scarier for you. Did you tell me that was a free bulk up for you? Crazy. We also see they have Terra Blast, so they might have, like, Fighting Terra, so maybe Arch would have been in trouble. Maybe Arch plus Greninja might have worked. There's Dire Claw into Annihilate, good call. And Expanding Force. Ah, leaving Grim on the field. But Annihilate takes that like a champ. And does over half to indeed. Beautiful. Very beautiful. No sense in hard swapping Grim if we can just Spirit Break in DD and get a free into Sinistra. Uh, but maybe I want to Spirit Break the Sneasler instead if I can. No, I want to. Yeah, I want to Spirit Break Sneasler if I can and just protect eight. I don't think they let me. I think they Dire Claw, Grim, and Expanding Force. Though they could double into Ape again? It's probably enough to KO if you do it again. What do you got for me? Yeah, Dire Claw and the Grim. Thank you for the free swap. That's what I was looking for. Sinistra can redirect Dire Claw, it can go for Trick Room, it can be alive so Expanding Forces spread, <laughs> that helps. It's gotta be Sinistra, I need the healing. I could even just pull it straight out, but that would sack Pelipper. Pelipper's probably okay if I get rid of Indeed though. We've got potentially Amoongus. Potentially Ursa Luna, so there's not really a huge point in setting Trick Room. I think I want to just go for Matcha Gacha. No. I want to go for Life Dew. And Drain Punch the Indeedee. Get that off the field. Dire Claw, that'll do some damage. No status though, we still keep our Lumberry. Expanding Force hurts. We'll get a little healing from Drain Punch and a little healing from Life Dew. And we're doing a lot better now. Okay. Indeedee was one of the scarier things. Um, Ursa Luna is also very scary, though. Those are typically Terra Normal, so I should be able to hit it pretty well. And we're faster than max speed Ursa Luna. Blood Moon, I believe. I think their max is like 114. Oh, here's Whimsicott. It could try to lock me into a move. No, it can't Dawncore here. So I don't have to worry about that. That's your last. Maybe I Trick Room? Maybe I just Light Do again and Protect? Oh, uh, how many turns on the Psychic? Last turn of Psychic Terrain. They can Encore next turn. Let's Rage Powder. Rage Fist Sneasler. <laughs> Because at this point, Whimsicott's not as threatening as Sneasler is. Dire Claw. Sleep into Sinistra. Sinistra always sleeps from Dire Claw. To be fair, the last couple... D drop? Yes! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you very much. And Rage Fist. And Sneasler's gone. The problem now is if I protect to get Sinistra out and back in again. Here's our Saluna. Hmm. What's the 
play here. Protect, try to wake up. Yeah, I think that's the play here. Yeah, they're gonna go for Terra Normal Blood Moon right into my 8, probably. Maybe even Tailwind? They probably Tailwind. They, I think they need to Tailwind, in fact. I did just Rage Fist, though. Maybe they could lock me into Rage Fist with Encore instead. If they Blood Moon the Sinistra and I get Encore, that would... Oh, they Moonblast. Okay. Moonblast Hyper Voice, maybe? Moonblast Blood Moon. Okay. Okay, I can work with that. Sinistra still asleep. Not great. Let's go for a Macha Gacha. I think I messed this up. They're gonna encore me and it's gonna be devastating. Life do bring in Pelipper. Oh, I think I might be pinned by this bear. Guess maybe I could have tried to bring in Pelipper safely somehow. It's gonna be Encore, right? You have Encore, okay. I, at least I'm at least I know that. It's just gonna hurt so much. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, at least I have Citrus Berry, and I can wake up here. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Hyper Voice did how much to Pelly? A little less than 100? Mm. Go Macha Gacha. They might not respect my speed. I think I'll lock Hurricane into Whim. If I can. I think it's just Tailwind Hyper Voice, though. Moonblast. Plus Hyper Voice. You didn't respect my Pelipper speed, so you lose Whimsicott. That's good. And did you Blood Moon or did you Hyper Voice again? I did Hyper Voice again. Sinistra eats, gets a Macha Gacha. And then I get a full power Drain Punch? Are we good? Plus Macha Gacha chip. With single target, this is pretty decent. Okay. Oh, that's really decent. That's Drain Punch range. Let's go. The bear is faster than my Sinistra. Oh, and we got a burn. That's nice. Reflect is gone. Alright, Annihilate the Furious. Let's finish this. Last turn of light screen. Or is there any reason not to go for Drain Punch now? Drain Punch leaves them at 1, and Hyper Voice gets the double KO, we're in trouble. We know we're faster, so we should let them take another chip of bur from Burn. And just try to Macha Gacha. I'm trying to think of how this could be wrong. Yeah, they just cancelled the battle. Good game to my opponent, and I think I stopped there, because my... Score is quite high. And we are back. Like I said, I got to the score that I wanted, so I might stop here. Uh, but anyways, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like on it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And anyways, I'm Jordy. And uh, alright, peace.